What's going on everybody, Tanner here with another video. Hope you're all having a great day. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys something a little special that not a lot of people actually utilize, which is making bundle variants. So it may sound unfamiliar to a lot of you guys that have never tried it or heard of it or whatever it is, but I'm gonna be going here on my computer showing you guys everything, how to set it up, exactly what it is, and how it can basically make you double what you're making right now on your Shopify store um, with specific single products. So with that being said, let's go ahead and hop on my computer and start getting to work here and showing you guys exactly how it all works. Um, and yeah, make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe if you're new, but I'll see you on my computer Okay, so we're on my computer now as you can see and um, Basically what we're gonna do is just find a random product import it to Oberlo import it to our store And then show you guys how to make the variants on Shopify and basically what it is But before we get started with all of that Let's go ahead and just show you guys exactly what I mean by bundle variants um, and exactly how it's going to make you more money So if you kept up with the challenge series and everything like that, then you would know the store this is the first store that we made excuse me uh, but basically right here, this is what a bundle variant is. So, you know, you have the options. Usually you would just have the quantity selector and then blue, white, red, you know, whatever it is. But here is what the bundle variant is, okay? We make it something called deals or, you know, whatever it is. And then we make buy one, get 50% off, buy three, get 60% off. And basically you change the prices and you have to update it for every color and every option there. And basically what this is going to do is increase your average order value. Uh, so, you know, most of the time people are just going to buy one. I mean, it depends on the product also if it's something that people, you know, need more of instead of just one. Uh, but most of the time you're going to increase your average order value because you're offering more value. You're offering uh, basically just a better deal overall for their product in that, you know, why not buy two if it's like, you know, buy one, get one free, that kind of thing. Except we're doing like buy one, get 50% off or or buy three get 60% off or buy five and get 60% off and one free and basically it's just a tactic in order to get people to buy more units um, to spend more on your store and overall help then get more products of whatever they wanted and for you to make more money so let's go ahead and hop on a store or aliexpress first um import a product and then show you guys how to make this bundle variant because it's something that's pretty simple it was confusing for me at first when i first tried to figure it out uh because i didn't use a shopify app or anything like that i just did it directly on the product page and it took me a while to figure out exactly how to structure it how to get everything set up right um so yeah the first thing we're going to do is aliexpress Okay, these are just rings, you know, honestly, we could do whatever, you know, what is something that people would buy more than one of? Probably not a ring, but honestly, it's really just about the perceived value. So we're going to use this gold ring right here, classic wedding ring for men. It doesn't really matter about the pricing and everything like that. They've sold a lot of units. Let's see how many orders top one for the ring is. Uh, but as far as units, you know, this isn't a product we're going to be selling. Wow, 32,000 units. I remember people were drop shipping this. I don't know if it still sells or not, but that's good. If it costs 56 cents. You sell it for like, you know, $20, 10, 15, 20, you know, you create that perceived value, then you can make a lot of money. So let's use this as an example. Okay. Uh, we're going to import this to our store and we're going to click open import list. Uh, so now we're taken to the import list for our store in Oberlo. Um, this is actually a product that I was testing or I wanted to test. I found it, but I haven't tested it yet. So maybe you guys are going to want to go check that out. Um, you know sell it for 150 bucks or something like that. It's a high ticket item uh, But I think it could do decent so titanium black men's ring description whatever you know Most of the time I'm gonna go through here. I'm gonna get rid of all these specifics and I'm gonna start with something like you know Have you ever wanted? The perfect ring, you know, I always start off with a question uh, just to sort of you know qualify that potential customer make them think that they need this item you know why do they need this what is something that sort of relates to the individual that i think would buy you know that specific demographic have you ever wanted the perfect ring that's stylish whatever you add a couple of sentences there to provide information on the product and sort of you know get them you know intrigued by it and then you add bullet points um for you know whatever it is you know give some specifics on the ring you know made of titanium whatever it is um lots of variants on here so i'm gonna get rid of some of these because we don't need to use all of them uh, let's just use a couple here. Let's just keep it to up to like one option so I can show you guys in the most simple way without making this something more complicated than it already is. Um, so I'm just going to leave it at there. That's fine. Whatever. Um, little quick tip for you guys. Just always go through here when you're importing products, you know, go to the United States, check shipping, if all the costs, the times, everything like that. If you want to change the prices, um, you know, change it to $19.99, whatever it is, it's going to change all of them. Uh, for the price and then you choose the compare at and you can do something like 99 99 you know whatever it is um you know so this suggested price right here by overlord i never use eight dollars is still a good profit margin based on it only costs 50 cents uh but 
Still, I always go higher than that just because if you create that perceived value within your marketing, then you're going to be able to make a lot more money either way. Uh, but now let's import it to this store. Okay, so now we're on the actual product page here where everything goes down. Um, you know, the description and the name and of course all that stuff is just not there because I didn't make it just because I'm using this as an example to show you guys sort of how everything works. Uh, but basically we scroll down, you see the images. Um, if we refresh it, the other images will pop up here. So there's two variants that are already there right now, the color as well as the ring size. So most products you're going to be trying to do this with only have, you know, one option, which is color um, or maybe size, whatever it is. Uh, but basically what we're going to do is go to edit options right here. So there's already two options, which is the ring size and the colors. But what we're going to do here is add another option and call it deals. OK, uh, so this is something that took me a while to figure out. I know it's very simple. I'm going to show you guys this stuff, but it ended up taking me a very long time just because I didn't watch any videos. I just sort of tried to figure it out on my own about a year ago. Uh, but basically, what we're going to do the first one, buy one and get 30% off, you know, whatever it is. This is sort of on you guys and, you know, doing what you want to do. Um, so we do that. We save the first one and now it's going to add that option to every single um, variant right here. So now what you have to do is it's sort of tedious, but it's worth it. I promise you what we have to do, especially this, since there's so many different colors and sizes and things like that, it would take a while to do all of this. Uh, what we're going to do is click on it and then we're going to do actions and then duplicate and another deals and we're going to name it uh, buy two and get 50% off. Of course, I'm just doing this off the top of my head. You got to do the math um, on your own. But now, as you can see, we have for the ring size six and the black color, we have the new deals, uh, which is buy two and get 50% off. And we're going to go here. We're going to do the price um, $35.99, the compare at $199.99. We're going to save that. And now we are brought to you know, the conclusion, that's sort of all we have to do there for, for that. Uh, but basically you have to do this, you go on and on and on. You have to do this, uh, you know, buy three and get 10% off Buy four, get 90% off Buy 10 and get a hundred percent off, you know, of course not a hundred percent off, but you have to do it for every single option. Um, you know, this is just something that's very tedious, but it definitely increases your average order value by a lot because people are just more willing to buy something. If there's a deal or, you know, whatever it is, you could literally just duplicate the price um, and people would most likely buy more than one. This is something I started doing on all my stores for products that were, you know, not very much high ticket, but low ticket items um, like this. If we're charging 10 to $20, you know, most likely we can get someone to buy another one of them just because of the cost and, you know, the position we're using in order to create these, you know, different bundle variants. Uh, so like I said, just still here on my computer, it's very basic. You go through, you, um, well, the first thing you do, just step one as an overview, you go to edit options. Um, deals buy one get 30% off and as you add them and duplicate it it's just gonna add on to here as far as you know the deals you're using um, and then when you're on your store for example here it's just gonna be just like this and once you get it all done you know the white red all that the prices everything is gonna be put together and you're good to go so this is definitely something I recommend all of you guys go out there and try it's something that's simple it takes a little bit of time but in the end you're gonna be seeing um, a lot more money coming into your Shopify store you're making more money um, the customers getting more happy because they're getting a deal. Uh, they're getting more products, you know, whatever it is. Honestly, it's just something that I've always done for the past year throughout e-commerce within these low ticket items. It's really just about triggering people's emotions in order to get them to actually buy something from your store. You know, the psychology within it is really goes into a lot of depth as far as marketing and stuff like that. But this is just a very, very simple tactic. I know there's Shopify apps out there where they bundle different products that are similar, um, things like that. Honestly, this is just the easy way to do it if you want to do it in, you know, as far as the fundamentals of a basic product page and everything like that. But uh, yeah, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video and um, drop a comment down below of some video ideas you may have, some things you want to see about Shopify or business or life overall, you know, whatever it is, let me know in the comments below. But if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe. Peace.